Right, so just cracking on with taking these bolts off. Got one of these is um, stuck at the bottom. This one here, the rubber has um, stuck to the bolt inside. So what I'm going to do is um, basically just leave it on and take it all off as a whole assembly. So I'm going to take this hub off as one unit. So I have um, disconnected the brake line. So I've tucked the brake line up here. I'm going to change this, but I don't want to get any dirt into it. Fortunately, the car has a nice big hole that I can hook it in there. It's very kind of it. I've taken off the handbrake cable there, so that's tucked behind there. Um, you have the ABS sensor, that's been disconnected. So now I'm looking to basically undo the bolts behind here and take this whole unit off. So that should be nice and separate now, so let's get that done. That's the brake disc and the caliper off. That's got the bare stub there. Okay, so all the nuts out of the stub axle, so we just withdraw that and it comes out with this ABS cable as well. So this is the rest up there. And then yeah, the ABS cable is uh, connected to that. So uh, basically now is the rear axle pretty much clear of gubbings and we can start to take it out of the whole unit now. So now that's clear, I'm going to detach the top of the arm there. Got two bolts in there. And I'm also going to detach the bottom bolt for the shock absorber and then basically repeat on the other side and once we've done that we take out the bolt there, the bolt there. I've already heated them up to try and get them a bit looser. I'm going to obviously get a spring compressor, compress this, take this out and then we can undo the bolts there and yeah if we get to that point on the other side then we can drop out all the rear suspension. I've got a 13 mil socket, we're just going to take off the top mount to the shock absorber, drop that down and have a look how bad it is. I suspect it's going to be quite bad. Right, here's the shock, it's not in the best of conditions. I think it's probably an aftermarket one, um, but it's not doing any, any shocking anymore. Yeah, so that's obviously not working. Yeah, nice to know I was thrashing around on that a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I'll just quickly show you, this is the shock absorber off the other side. So yeah, it's just plain not working at all, which is uh, quite surprising because it was driving beautifully. So um, when this is all sorted out, yeah, so I can't wait to take it for a spin. So the brakes and hub are off the other side now. It's a bare suspension piece now. So I'm just undoing the four bolts and then hopefully that will all come off as one unit. I can do that with the springs in. So these have had heat yesterday and a lot of WD-40 to free them off. Got the jack underneath it between the two rails just as we loosen it off. So we've got the suspension bone connected to the exhaust bone here. So if it isn't dropping out, that is probably still connected. I forgot to take that off. So that connects the suspension to the rear silencer. So we'll just take that off. And also don't forget these two bolts here. That I nearly forgot about. Accessible straight up there, they've got a little buffer on them, so those are the last two to come undone. Obviously, we've got the jack under it waiting. Okay, the last two mystery bolts, the wires of my subframe coming off. Mystery bolts hidden away. There we go, number one. And number two, and I can just feel the whole assembly starting to move now, so the jack is now starting to take the weight of this. All right, ladies and gents, one subframe. Here we go, slightly used, good for another 100,000. I don't think. All right, let's pull that right out and have a look. There it is, so that's the first major bit out of the way. You can see it really is, uh, really has had it, this one. I'm gonna change all of the bits if I can find them. The only thing I might not be able to find is this top bit, but I'm hopefully going to get another one of those and uh, completely refresh the whole lot. And then if we look under here, now we've got perfect access to take off the fuel pipes, take out the fuel tank and just really get to everything to properly underseal it because you can't, you can't do this properly with all those components in the way take over this side so yeah I can get right up in there and clean all this off I'm gonna be taking off like I just said the fuel tank 
in the next couple of days and all of this heat protection we're going to change that um, and just have a look a really good look at everything and clean it all up so we've got our two bolts there they weren't seized fortunately got the mystery bolt which was uh, yeah also not seized so I was very lucky there so that's as far as I go today and the next one we'll get the fuel tank off and have a look be yeah, all of this will be changed